Hello and thanks for watching this Acumatica video and subscribing to our YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to talk about a new feature that allows Acumatica to recognize incoming documents and convert them to AP bills. So what you see here is an inbox of documents that can come in to Acumatica. Now to get started with this is we enable the feature. This is an optional feature in 2020 R2. And if we scroll down, you can see it's called Document Recognition Service. Once this is enabled, you then have the ability when you're setting up your system email accounts, going over to system email, and if I go into our payables account, we created a payables account to monitor a certain inbox of all our incoming AP bills. So we set it up here, and then under incoming mail processing, we turned on incoming mail processing here, we turned it on. You have all these other features that are already in Acumatica for processing inbound emails, attaching records and so on. Now we have the ability to submit to incoming documents. So again, if we go back to our incoming documents, these are inbound emails that came into our payables inbox. So you can see here, we get some information about it, where it came from, the summary, the subject of the email. And if we open it up, Acumatica gives you on the left-hand side, the ability to fill in information about the bill. On the right-hand side, it gives you the picture of the bill. This is the attachment that came in. So Stanford Plumbing and Heating, it's got an invoice number, it's got a total amount. And you'll notice Acumatica looked through this document and it found the invoice number, found the invoice date, and it found the amount, the total amount. It also went down and looked at all the line items and it put those line items here. So for example, installed new kitchen sink, that was $50. It failed to detect the quantity but if we highlight over here and click on the region of that document, notice it fills in the field. So Toto Sync, we'll click here. See, it's calculating the amounts for us. We'll look at this line item and this line item and this Green Star 30i. So this is the breakdown of this invoice. Additionally, we can use inventory IDs, but this will come into the bill so that we can cost it accordingly. Now you'll notice our total amount is 2844. If we scroll down, you can see there's our 2844. If we need to make any changes, we can also highlight the actual region. Notice Acumatic has done that for us. The same thing with the vendor reference, highlighting that as well as the date. But you'll notice 2844, the subtotal is 2590. So there's a tax rate in here, and that tax rate, that 30480, is something that we'll need to add ourselves. Or what we can do is we can add a line item here, put in maybe tax, and come over to the extended cost and highlight that line. Now it didn't detect the vendor name, which is pretty important. However, if I search for it, I now have the vendor name associated and this is ready to go. I can hit save and continue. And you could see here all of the individual line items that came in. So 30480 is now in there. We can code all of these different expense accounts to the appropriate job. But you'll notice we have a, a problem with the amount. But if we put this bill on hold, we still have an opportunity to look at the attachment. So the attachment's showing up here. If we click on it, we can see the total bill. And we notice that there's a $50 discount that we neglected to put on here. So if we go back to the bill, we could either put a discount here on one of the line items. We know exactly. Or we can simply come across and put a line here of discount. 
$50. And we can give it some sort of discount account, vendor discounts, and then save it. And now we have a match where then we could take this off hold and release it. So that's really cool. The ability for Acumatica to scan a specific inbox that we configure, system email account, to process all of them into an incoming mail folder. We'll open that up. And update it. So as soon as we process it, it now shows it as processed show the outstanding ones that are not recognized yet and go bill by bill will make accounts payable processing so much easier so that's it thanks so much for watching this video and subscribing to our channel on document recognition accounts payable processing in acumatica available in acumatica 2020 r2 if you have any questions feel free to reach out to us we'd love to hear from you have a great day.